We did it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Calgary Lougheed. Thank you to this remarkable team of Albertans, and thank you to a man who made tonight possible, a great public servant, Dave Rodney. Wow, folks, we are on track. Tonight sends a clear message that we are united, that we are stronger together, and that if we stay humble and work hard, we are on track to defeat this job-killing socialist government and to renew Alberta as a place of opportunity. Friends, tonight, Calgary Lougheed voters have spoken for Albertans in sending a clear message to the NDP. Stop raising our taxes. Don't, eat, don't proceed with your 50% increase in the carbon tax in two weeks' time. Today, Calgary Lougheed said no to the carbon tax increase. We sent a message tonight by, with huge numbers. Stop quadrupling our debt. Stop your policies that have killed hope and jobs for so many Albertans and start putting common sense solutions ahead of your NDP ideology. And tonight, friends, I've received my marching orders to fight every day to hold this government to account, to fight their tax increases, and to present Albertans with a strong, common sense alternative to this government, a diverse coalition that will work hard every single day to reignite our economy, recreate jobs, restore fiscal responsibility, and stand up to the Trudeau Liberals and defend Alberta. I, I, I have a different chant for us. It's Alberta. 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 That's better. Now, friends, tonight's remarkable result sends, an, which I think is one of the highest popular votes for a campaign in a Calgary provincial election since 2001. This sends a remarkable, clear message to the NDP because they ran. They ran a fear and smear campaign. They ran, they ran a campaign of the politics of personal destruction. They said that I'm not really Albertan, even though I've lived here, even though I've lived here for 27 years. They said that we are, quotes, un-Canadian. Can you believe that? Hold on, hold on. They, they, hold on. They call the people in this room extremists. And they said we should, they, they said that we want to, quotes, shut down every hospital in this province. Can you believe it, friends? This, this from a, de pro a party, the NDP, whose deputy premier called Albertans who challenged the government, quotes, sewer rats. That's right. This comes from a party whose premier, whose premier called this party, quotes, super duper extreme. You can't make this up. Now listen, now listen, Premier Notley, Premier Notley, I look forward to meeting you in the legislature. And Premier Notley, Premier Notley, I respect you. You are a committed and capable public servant. We respect your office and we respect you. But please hear me now. Whether we came here 27 years ago like myself, or some of the volunteers on this campaign who's, for whom this is their first election, we are all equal and proud Albertans. Yeah. Yeah. Premier, Premier we, may, we may disagree with your policies, but that doesn't make us un-Canadian. We are just a common sense coalition of Albertans who want to focus on economic growth and fiscal responsibility. And these views, which represent the vast majority of Albertans, deserve to be respected in Alberta politics.
Premier, we are not sewer rats or extremists. We are ordinary, hard-working Albertans from all backgrounds and walks of life. We love this province and we just want to get its economy back on track. <laughs> Premier, we don't want to close hospitals. We want to build hospitals and schools and we know that won't happen unless we have a dynamic and growing economy and we understand that we cannot tax and borrow our way to prosperity. So, to our friends in the NDP, I want to underscore that we are a common sense coalition that reflects the diversity of today's Alberta. This is the second largest political party in Canada, and according to tonight's result and the polls, it has the support of a, a strong majority of Albertans. It is the most popular political party in Canada. So Premier, we respect you and your office, but we simply ask that you drop the politics of personal destruction. Let's disagree on the issues without being disagreeable. Let's recognize that we're all in this for Alberta first. Right. Albertans deserve better than the politics of smear and fear that we heard during this campaign. But ladies and gentlemen, there's another message here today, tonight. When we set out on this difficult path 18 months ago, the pundits and the cynics, they said it couldn't be done. Do you remember that? Yeah. But we didn't listen to them. We just did what Albertans have always done. We dug deep and we worked hard, inspired by a sense of hope and optimism for a brighter Alberta future. We overcame enormous obstacles. This is our fourth campaign in the past year, our fourth successful campaign in the past year. inspired by an, an abiding belief in the values that have always animated the people of this great province, a belief in strong community, in, in personal responsibility, in the power of a free economy, in, in the, the ability to raise up those at the margins through uh, prosperity. The, these are the values that have driven us over the past year. And look how far we've come. The PC leadership in March, the successful unity negotiations, a 95% ratification vote in July. The United Conservative leadership out of which we have emerged, united, and tonight, over 72% of Calgary Lougheed residents asking me to be a leader of the opposition to hold this government to account. pause on that number, that big number, for just a second here, because, you know, they said that if we united, Conservatives in Alberta, mm -hmm. that one plus one wouldn't equal two. Mm. They're right. It equals more like 2.5. Yeah. <laughs> unity tonight is the evidence that unity has worked in 2015. The, the combined PC Wild Rose vote in Calgary Lougheed was 63%. Tonight, we scored over 72%. We are united. We are united. That's right. And more than that, this was the first campaign that this party has run in, and we all worked together. Albertans of different partisan backgrounds. We buried the hatchet. We put the province ahead of any political pedigree. We said this, we, this province is worth fighting for together, united, tonight and in the last four weeks, we have demonstrated that we are stronger, united. So, in closing, in closing, let me thank this amazing team in this room uh, that has run one of the most r remarkable campaigns, just three and a half weeks. Here we are, just a, 10 days or so, a couple of weeks before Christmas, and somehow we still got uh, a, a much higher than usual turnout in a by-election. Thank you to the people of Calgary Law Heat for caring about your province. Thank you for participating in this campaign. Thank you again. To this remarkable public servant, this great Albertan, give him another round of applause, Dave Rodney. Super Dave. I don't know 
if you know this, but Dave has, hasn't cl just climbed Mount Everest oh, once, oh, but yeah. twice. Yeah. 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 But I never got 72%. But I <laughs> he said he never got 72%, no. though. But I, <laughs> I think Everest is a lot harder than that. I couldn't get up to base camp, Dave, so give me a <laughs> Um, and thank you to the amazing team. Now, I, there's, there are some people who have been in this place and uh, out there on the hustings every day for the past month, uh, and I'm going to miss them, I'm sure, but Alan and Tasha and Whitney, Jeremy, Luce, Darlene, Sonia, Miguel, Kent, Keith, Lorraine, uh, Mark, Tom, uh, all of you who have contributed, uh, dug so deep, thank you from the bottom of my heart for making democracy happen here, here. here yeah. tonight. Yeah. And so, friends, with that, we have a lot of hard work yet to do. We've worked hard in the past year. We've moved metaphorical mountains. <laughs> we have restored, and I hear this at the doors everywhere I go. As I went door to door, I met so many Lougheed residents who, you know, were struggling, out of work. Now, some of them for two, some for three years, many of them new Canadians who arrived here with high levels of education, with tremendous aspirations, who did all right for a while, but who have been out of work increasingly despairing in the past two or three years. And this victory is for them, for all of those folks who simply want Alberta back as that place of, uh, op of big skies and endless opportunity. And so, ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, to them, we rededicate ourselves tonight. We have 18 months to go until the next provincial election. We've started here tonight in Calgary, Lougheed, and now next year, we will rebuild this foundation in 87 constituencies with fantastic candidates with strong policies. From north to south and east to west, we are building a movement and we are restoring a sense of hope and optimism and opportunity for Albertans. And so friends, let us continue to work hard, but to stay humble and to earn every vote. And if we do those things, then the promise is on the horizon that in the spring of 2019, there will be a new beginning and a fresh start for this magnificent province, Alberta. Alberta that has been so good to all of us. And now it's time for us to fight for our province and her future. Tonight was an important step, but I know you'll be with me in the 18 months to come. God bless you all, and God bless Alberta.